Hi, welcome back. We're the Book Mavens. This is our promo video for our special Mystery March project. Dun dun dun! dun. All right, Amanda Lighting is flashes. very excited about Mystery March. She's a big mystery reader and she gets inundated with tons of fantasy titles by me. So it's only fair that Rachel also has to engage in genres that she doesn't normally do. But I'm excited. It's always nice to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. So we have, what we want to do for this video is we want to release the titles that we're planning to read for March. So if you want to read along with us or participate more with us, um, I wanted to give you enough time to be able to, you know, get a hold of those titles and be ready to go. I specifically chose mysteries that I had also not read with, with one exception, um, which we'll talk about in a second, right? They're either standalone or they're beginning of a new detective series. So one of the things that we'll be looking at and evaluating as we go through is like if you would continue with the series. If this is a character or a continuous storyline, you know, most cases with mystery novels, it's the detective that is the continuing character. So we'll see if we like it, if we think it's worth keeping keeping going, if we're going to read more in the series. I guess. Um, all right. Should we tell them the titles? Yep. All right. So, so no, we're, <laughs> we're not going to tell you. you Just guess. kidding. That's the mystery. <laughs> March has five five weeks in it, so there will be five Tuesdays. The first Tuesday in March, we're going to be reading Agatha Christie's, what I feel is her magnum opus, and then there were none. This is the exception book. This is one that I have read before, but have absolutely no problem returning to because it is, <laughs> it's so good. And unlike most of her works, this one actually is a standalone. It is not part of any of her continuing detective series or any of her you know, um, kind of long-standing, well-known detectives. Um, it is a complete standalone book, and it is, it is so good. So this will be the first week of March. And I'm going in completely blind. I know absolutely nothing about this book. No character. Nothing. Okay, second week of March, we're going to be reading... All right. Mr. Churchill's Secretary. Mm -hmm. This Go one actually, I here. found this at a bookstore. <laughs> I found the newest one of this series at a bookstore and was like intrigued by it. And then I, but I went back and found the first one, this one. And then I saw a student reading it in my class that week. And I was like immediately tired. I was like, what are you going to get a book? So she recommended it um, very highly. And she has since read several of them in the series and has been asking me if I've read this book yet. So, okay. And the third week of March, we're going to be reading The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Which is a newer release. This is a new release. And I will say the description that they use on the back of the book is actually that it is, and then there were none, mixed with Groundhog Day, mixed with Downton Abbey and Quantum Leap. I like and that I there's like, a science fiction aspect to it. Yeah. So this so is I'm kind of a little bit of a, a little crossover, but I, we're, we're very excited about this one too. One, we're reading a, a study in Scarlet Women. She's the first of the Lady Sherlock series. Lady That's Sherlock what it's called. Series. Okay. All right. And now you're now the one I am. you're most looking forward to. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, hasn't released yet. It isn't, but it releases in March. So we're gonna do it the last week of March. <laughs> Dolly Parton has co-wrote a mystery book. <laughs> Dolly Parton and James Patterson are <laughs> releasing a novel called Run Rose Run, which is supposed to be a mystery. Honestly, it wouldn't matter what it is. <laughs> I would read it, but it just goes so perfectly. I mean, I was really struggling. I was like, what should we read for the fifth one? I was trying to pick one I thought Rachel would really like. And like, I toyed around with Rebecca and some classics like The Big Sleep. And we had actually picked out a book. And then I saw, <laughs> I saw an ad for this book and I was like, Rachel, forget everything I said. We're reading this. Like, we are. And she's just like, okay. And she's already found like a beautiful special edition of it. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to read that the last week of March. So if you want to read that one with us, you can pre-order. And if you can't tell how I feel about Dolly, you will. <laughs> it's the number one fan over here. I, <laughs> I love Dolly. She's a national treasure and we don't deserve her. <laughs> That's how I feel. Her book, doesn't she have a book program where she sends books to like you? The Imagination Library. Okay. Let me tell you the tale. <laughs> Her father was illiterate and was always very um, kind of 
he was always very cognizant of that fact and very, you know, kind of ashamed of that fact that he had never learned to read. But he grew up in, I mean, they grew up in a very rural mountain community where, you know, it just necessarily wasn't always an option or would they have had many things to read. But she actually started that program with him. He co-ran that program with her as, uh, so they mail a book. Every child that's born in the state of Tennessee is mailed a book every month from the time they're born until they turn five so they have access to books. And she co-ran that program with her father in honor of him. Now we're all going to be in our feels. I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. Actually, the, yeah. I'm not really, like, usually a fangirl type person. Oh, she fangirls hard for Dolly. Yeah, Martin. but for Dolly, I make a lot of exceptions. <laughs> I, I'm not, like, I get, I mean, I'm excited when I meet people, but, like, it just doesn't really... I mean, I've met some notable people, but it never really phases me. They're just people. But if I ever met Dolly, Puddle I, on I might floor. cry. <laughs> <laughs> I might lose all my dignity. <laughs> I'm like, just, 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 honestly, I'll probably Her just beat. sit there and cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably just sit there and sob. And you know what Dolly would probably do? She'd probably hold me <laughs> and tell me how great I was. Probably. <laughs> anyway, so grab your mystery novels. Cozy up. I hope you get some, like, find your favorite stormy weather YouTube uh background music channel. Alexa's got a great one. Uh, Thunderstorms is what I listen to. Yeah. Get get it ready, guys, because we are about to Nancy Drew the heck out of this month. So, buckle up. Buttercup. We'll see you in March. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Our eyes are so bad. <laughs>